Hey everyone, I'm Jack. I just wanted to share with you what propagation can do to increase your collection. So all these little babies are either gifts or were propagated from my own collection. And in just a short time, you can see that you can build up quite a lot of babies. And one of the oldest ones only goes back till about August, and that was this Kalanchoe here. I don't know which one it is, and when I brought it home, uh, it was gifted to me from a store. And when I brought it home, it looked pretty ragged. And like I said, since August now, it has really shaped up to be quite pretty, and it does need to be transplanted, but I'm probably going to wait until the spring. I don't really feel like doing any transplanting during this time that they're supposed to be dormant. Uh, here in front of it is another Kalanchoe. This is the Longiflora cosinea, and it's got a planted cutting here and then another little leaf just sitting on top of the soil to hopefully try and root that. Over here in the back is a tray of Pearl von Nuremberg's, a sedum leaf, and two little pieces of orc ear trying to root. And the Pearl von Nurbergs are doing really well. There was one of them that kind of didn't make it, and the sedum has got some roots, and the little orcs ears are trying, but so, so far nothing on those. And then next to that is a little grouping of crown of thorns. Um, these, there's three in this one little pot that are already blooming, and it's only, mm, it's probably from maybe September, and they looked really bad at first, uh, but they snapped right back and now one of them is blooming. This one here has never quite looked very well. The leaves are rolled and it's one of the bigger cuttings, but it's just, it's kind of struggling. And then this is the Kronos from the plant that I transplanted and took off this little baby that was sticking off to the side of it. And it is gonna bloom as well. So that one's looking pretty good. The leaves are, kind of mottled, which is really pretty compared to the other leaves. Uh, but you can see that even as a small baby that they can throw off a flower. In the back is three cents of area cuttings. And those I'm not quite sure if they're rooted or not. I haven't tried to pull them out to see. I don't want to really tug on them too much because they're, they're a little bit, not fragile, but a little bit sensitive in that soil to where like if you touch it, they'll kind of rock back and forth. So I want to give it some more time before I do anything to it. This here is the Apuntia, the prickly pear that you saw that video where I transplanted it. And it took quite a while, but now there are some signs of life on this little baby. So I'm pretty sure these two have rooted. I don't want to mess around with them and try and uproot them just to see, but I'm pretty confident that these have rooted. This one here is what I think is a thimble cactus. There's three tiny little babies in here. These are the uh, Kalanchoe donkey ear babies that you saw the video that I did. And they are rooted and have been brought into the house and doing very well. And this one here, believe it or not, is actually the one that I beheaded. And if you just gently pull on it, it has re-rooted. So in just a short amount of time, I stuck this in soil and it rooted. And then this is the little baby um, I believe it was in that video that just fell off the mama. Well, it's rooted too. So now I ended up having two, three, four, five little babies off the mama, which is pretty cool. And like I said, they're all doing very well. This one in here is a Kalanchoe Blasfeldiana, and it's got some really alien looking roots coming up. The leaf is starting to uh, kind of wither back and die. It looks like an old piece of leather. I'm hoping that a little baby plant forms on here and not just roots. I've had some root out and just throw out big long spider roots and not produce any kind of baby. So I'm hoping this one does do a baby. Next to the beheaded Kalanchoe are jade plants. They are so cute. They're tiny and fully formed. Roots are coming down, aiming towards the soil. Um, they're kind of going through the air at this point, but eventually they'll hit that soil. Those are so cool. Those were just two leaves that I pulled off some jade plants that I had transplanted and they're doing very well. This one here is a baby of a 
sedum firestorm. There is one little plantlet coming off and you can see like how small it is based on the eraser of a mechanical pencil. It's very small. Uh, this other leaf here didn't quite make it. I don't think there's any roots coming out or I definitely don't see any plantlet on there. So this one's doing well. I have to kind of be careful with it because when I water it, it tends to flood out this tiny little pot. These aren't the best choices I've discovered for putting any kind of plants in. If you come across these little terracotta pots, I would recommend you stay away from them because it just, I don't think it allows for good drainage and the, the soil ends up just kind of bubbling up here on the top. Um, also a cause of that could be the soil is just too dry and the water can't saturate into it. But all in all, I would kind of stay away from these tiny little pots if you can. Over here in this little raspberry clamshell are three little cute echeverias. This one here is so cool looking. It's like fully formed baby mini echeveria. Uh, and this one here is a little bit deformed. It's got some leaves coming out off to the side and the rosette itself is it's fairly formed but not quite as much as this one here. And then this little baby here was doing pretty well and then suddenly it sort of took a nosedive and is not doing very well at all. But it is still alive so I am trying to nurse this one through and, and get it to looking like this one here. And this is another little orx ear that actually has a little baby on the on the very tip. That's pretty exciting to see how an orx ear looks from you know a tiny little plantlet. And then up here in the front are Pearl von Nurnbergs. All three of them have little babies formed on them. This one here looks a, it's very strange looking. Uh, this one is starting to shape up as is this one here. And over here is just another jade leaf that I put in to try and get it to root. So far there's nothing there, but I think eventually it might. So the Pearl von Nurnbergs um, propagate very well. Uh, one, two, three, five, seven of them uh, all have little babies coming off of them. So that's, except for one that passed away, that's pretty close to 100% you know, propagation rate for Pearl von Nuremberg, so that's pretty cool to have that many of those. And in this little tray here, oh, these are the Kalanchoe Longiflora. Uh, they, I've been struggling with these things. I've tried everything. Uh, they're currently on a heat mat with a light on them. I've tried giving them water with liquid seaweed extract in them to try and boost them along. I've tried a cooler temperature, a warmer temperature, more light, less light really been kind of problematic for me that I just can't seem to get them very big and you can see comparing to the size of an eraser how small they are. And I've had these quite a while and I just would think that they'd be bigger by now but they're still alive they're still struggling to grow there's one two three of them uh, there was about ten altogether that now we're down to these three these two here are just teeny tiny uh, this one here, like I said, it's, it's the biggest one, but just still kind of struggling. So I don't quite know what to do with those. I haven't given up on them. I am still going to keep trying to get those to grow, but it sure is a struggle. In the last container here, we have some variegated jade, um, a couple of aloe leaves. I was curious if aloes will sprout from leaves. I don't think that they will, but it would be kind of neat if they did. So I just set those in there. And then these two little plants here that are growing pretty rapidly are grape to penalum uh, that I found these leaves on the ground at one of the nurseries that I went to and they had some tiny little roots coming out so I just picked them up brought them home put them in some soil and now this one here let me see if I can show you this one here is really needing to be transplanted but it's it's a full-on little plantlet coming off the this one leaf that has dried up now it does need to be transplanted um, it's going to be a little bit scary to transplant that because it's so tiny um, but I think you know I, this might be an exception that I do before spring because I don't want this thing to grow out all weird in this little um, tray that I have and this other one here is you know growing a little bit more normal kind of straight up compared to this one that's laying on its side now so I just wanted to share with you propagation and how you can increase your collection and it's really easy to do. It doesn't take much time. Most of them will do, you know, what you see here in a month to two months. Some of them grow a little bit slower than others, but you just have to be patient. And eventually you'll end up with more plants um, from the stock that you have. And that's, that's a pretty neat way to increase. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up for me. Consider subscribing to see more videos. And until the next time, thanks for watching.